I've really enjoyed the community side of it and being able to communicate with people who are kind of as nutty about metal play as I am <laughs> and uh, just to be in touch with everybody really. Yeah. Yeah. And try new products. Yeah, I, I very much enjoyed that too and I've enjoyed trying new products and I've also um, enjoyed a certain amount of research has had to go in behind uh, using new products or, or to overcome um, sort of problems that you might encounter. So uh, I've actually learned an awful lot by doing the background research and it's, it's advanced my practice a lot. Yeah, I think it's been helpful to have the, the Facebook group to share with each other and the fact that we have all had not exactly the same things but we've been able to kind of have those discussions and you know, how are you finding this or how are you what, what are you doing with that and it's just been a really nice way to try new things like you just said I think. Mm -hmm. I think it's the little tips that you get you're almost not expecting to get a little tip and then something really oh wow is that how you do it you know it's the, those small tips from other people that make a difference and I think it's just learning about that there are more variations in some of these things than you might imagine. Mm. You can present people with the same thing and they handle it differently and they produce different outcomes and, and that's <coughs> really very interesting in itself mm. and it's just that sharing thing again. Mm. Yeah, no, I agree with that. I think that's been the best part of it is just being able to... to to try something new but not feel on your own with it, mm -hmm. you know, it's, exactly. it's like you've got other people there that you can kind of, oh, yeah. <laughs> and not feel like, oh, am, am I wrong to be asking for yeah. help, so yeah, it's been good to do that. I'd used the Goldie Bronze before but I hadn't tried the Aussie clays before, so that was great to be able to, to do that. And I think it, what was really good was, I mean, I've looked at the Aussie clays and seen some of the amazing things that people have been making. Um, but I'd been wary about buying them because of all the imports and trying to work out what the actual cost is and things. So it's been great that we have it here and it's in pounds and we can see how much it's going to be. And we all got to try and stern, didn't we? Well. Oh, yeah. Which is yes. brand new. <laughs> yes. No, that's very really true. We're kind of forgetting about that. Yeah. But it was great to be able to try yeah. the sterling in advance. And it was actually, I found it quite helpful. You know, there was, there was a kind of a list of things. Can you try this? Can you try that? And can you see if this works? And... And it, that was actually really helpful because it, it gave me some prompts to say, right, well, I'd really like to try this or I'd like, really like to try that. The 950 in advance, it was a real surprise, um, but it was a special moment as well because you could see all the sort of the, the global leaders in metal clay were, had been yeah. asked to uh, to review it in advance of its launch. And then suddenly we were asked to do it and felt like metal clay royalty then. You know? <laughs> um, so it, 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 that was an amazing experience that was totally unexpected. So yes, that is not to be forgotten. That's a moment to remember. Yeah, thank you for that. <laughs> I think it, for me it was the challenge part of it. Um, the not knowing what you're going to get and, and trying <coughs> to work with something perhaps that I hadn't tried before. Or I think for me that, that was kind of part of it, was being able to, to try out lots of different I think it was because um, I, I actually found it quite um, daunting, the thought of applying for it, because I sensed that it probably was going to be quite demanding, um, and yet on the other hand I felt that I really needed to stretch myself and maybe perhaps take myself well out of my comfort zone, which I have indeed done. It's been a challenge, but it's been really fun at the same time, and um, things like making you write tutorials and, make, you know, just actually the things that you might get round to but you might not have got round to it for a few years you know yeah. so it's kind of really pushed you out of your comfort zone in a good way definitely yes, definitely <laughs> so definitely go yeah. for it because it's really good fun i think certainly what i did notice was um an awareness of my website and my facebook page i, I think people were maybe seeing things that I had done as a maker and were investigating and exploring that. So I think it's promoted my business a little bit more widely and raised the awareness of it. Mm.